We would be honored if you would join us. Everyone's invited, of course. Hey, Star Wars fans, welcome to the second episode of my Q&A series. did my first one a couple of weeks ago, got some great questions. The video went on uh, probably a little bit longer than I expected it to, to be honest. So I'm going to try and make this a little bit shorter, um, a little bit sharper, a little bit shinier. Just polish it up and edit it a little bit afterwards so I um, can get through some questions a little bit quicker. So I've been able to source some questions from both my last video, um, which is preferably where I'd like the questions to go. Um, if you've got any questions for my next episode, for episode 3, drop them in the comments of this video. They'd be greatly appreciated. I'm talking anything Star Wars related, you know, toys, movies, anything. Any thoughts that come to mind, anything you want to know, um, ask away. Go for it. And I uh, also sourced um, some questions from Instagram. I did a bit of a uh, question in my story. So I'll have a few questions pop up there as well. Um, but we'll start with the YouTube ones. So first question comes from Mark Karp. He says, hey Jesse, any Star Wars Lego in your collection? If not, any desire to start collecting? I got the Cantina set this last this past Christmas and it is awesome. Definitely something will be right up your alley. Yeah, it is right up my alley, to be honest. Um, Mark, I'd love to get that Cantina set. It looks incredible. Um, I've recently, sort of within the last sort of six months, six to 12 months, I've really sort of scaled back and sold off a lot of my Lego. Um, I dove in pretty damn deep. Um, I was getting a lot of stuff for quite a few years there, and it was just a stage of, uh, it's got to the stage of not being able to keep up with it. Uh, it was, you know, couldn't fit it into the budget. So I've, now I just, I'm very selective. I've got a few sets around my room here. I've got um, Darth Vader's castle. I have the Resistance transport from Galaxy's Edge. I have the Razor Crest. Um, and I have Boba Fett's Slave One. Uh, a Millennium Falcon, just a few. I just sort of keep it keep it pretty basic now. Um, but yeah, I, I would love that Cantina set. That's just perfect. It looks amazing. So thanks, Mark. Collector1970, long-time follower of the channel, says, have you ever gotten Ram Coda's lightsaber for your figure yet? I'm actually surprised that's that's something you remember. <laughs> um, I got the Ram Coda years ago, but he didn't come with the correct lightsaber. So no, I haven't. Um... Yeah, I've just kept him with a random green one that I had at the time, and uh, I've kind of just stuck with it. I was never really too fussed to try and get the real real one. Um, if I ever come across like a, a Ram Coda on card, I'd probably just get it as well, just if it was a good price. Um, but no, I haven't I haven't done that yet, so I completely forgot about that. So thanks for the reminder. Um, appreciate that one, Collector1970. Edmonton Stormtrooper. Hi, Jesse. If you could pick the next HasLab, what would you like it to be? Apologies if someone has already asked this. Um, that's a really good question, actually. I think I would love... If they're going to go delve into 6-inch Black Series, I'd love a Jedi Starfighter. I think that would be really cool with an upgraded Anakin. Um, I know they want to put stuff out that probably gets more playability out of it than a single vehicle, whereas a single vehicle could probably just slot into the line as an annual as an annual release um have a small scale vehicle like that which would you know in terms of the size of it, it would be quite big in anyway um for three and three quarter inch that is a really good question i'd love to start seeing um jabba's palace fleshed out a little more um they did the play set a couple of years ago from the vintage collection and you know that was right in its detail really nicely done i'd love to see um like a re-release of jabba's throne they did that Back in 2010, it was a Walmart exclusive back then um, in the States and it didn't go anywhere else. I, was, I had to pay extras to get that on eBay. But um, yeah, I'd love to see sort of Jabba's throne, the sort of archway above that, the sort of, he has like a rotisserie fire pit sort of thing behind it. And then maybe just some of the surrounding walls would be would be fantastic, like the little stairwell that comes down um, where Boosh knocks the head on the uh, charms. Um, that would be great. I think I'd go for that. Question from Sci-Fi. I had the old cardboard cantina, but it collapsed during a move. Uh, question. What blink and miss characters would you like to see released from the cantina or Jabba's Palace? There's so many they haven't done yet, isn't there? There's there's a lot. I love just the sort of dudes in the spacesuits that are sort of walking around in the cantina. 
Um, there's a fella sort of sitting down, uh, like a middle-aged sort of gentleman. Um, he's sort of sitting down in one scene. Um, in terms of Jabba's Palace, there's a lot of skiff guards that haven't been done yet. There's a lot of background characters from Jabba's Palace. Um, there was one which I can never remember whether it's from Jabba's Palace. I think it was from Jabba's Palace Return of the Jedi. They called him the Light Man. And he was basically this long-armed gangly suit, and he just had light bulbs on him. Um, it was really, really bizarre, really strange looking. I can sort of see why it didn't make the film. Um, but that's worth looking at. Uh, it's an interesting sort of behind-the-scenes thing. So I'd love to see something funny like that come out, just, just as a matter of, like, a silly gimmick. Um, <laughs> the, I wouldn't expect the lights to light up, but it would be an interesting looking, uh, looking figure. Uh, another one from Leonard Lee. It says, Jesse, I know that you said you like to collect just a random few of other figures, but only stick to Star Wars. I was wondering what your thoughts on the Indiana Jones figures and movies, especially the new movie coming soon. Um, I never got into the figures, the three and three quarter inch figures. Um, probably if they were sort of around. I don't recall them ever being around in stores. Um, but I probably would have picked a couple up. If, if the Hasbro decide to jump in and do a six-inch Indiana Jones line, I'd definitely be picking up a few figures. Uh, I love the movies. Uh, Crystal Skull, while it has its good moments, it's, it sort of stands apart from the other three. Um, the other three are like the original trilogy of Star Wars. Like They're pretty sacred. and um, But yeah, it's, it's not terrible. It's just not as great as the other three. <laughs> um... In terms of a new one, I'm really interested to see what they're going to do. I would love to see what they do. I'd love to see them do with Indiana Jones, what they've done with James Bond, and that is just, you know, new adventures all the time. Um, you know, you can recast, you can do a new Indiana Jones, find another actor to portray him, and do a series of films, come back, do it again, and just have awesome adventures throughout his life. Um, just standalones. Like, they don't need to be, you know riddled with continuity and, you know, just standalone adventures. I think that would work really well for Indiana Jones in the future. So that was it for YouTube. Now I'm going to jump over to Instagram. And I've got a couple of questions here from Aussie Star Wars Unboxer on Instagram. What should be the next 3.75 inch vehicle release be? That's a good question. Um, it's been a long time since they've done an Imperial shuttle, uh, the shuttle Tidarium. I'd love to see that. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with that one, honestly. that's It's been a long time since they've dropped that vehicle. And, you know, the old one was pretty damn good. Um, so I'd love to see maybe even an update to that. That would be that would be awesome. That's one of my favorite vehicles in Star Wars. Um, and I've just received an A-Wing. I'd love to see an updated uh, vintage collection A-Wing. I think that would be cool too. And second question was... What is your most sought-after Episode 1 figure currently? So for those who don't know, I am sort of going back and filling some gaps in my Episode 1 collection from 1999. I'm having a big nostalgia kick with that whole thing. Um, the one that's probably the hardest to find at the moment is R2-B1. He's the sort of blue and yellow astromech droid from uh, the, Queen's, the Queen's ship. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's, probably, that's probably the one. It's a little bit up there in price. Looks great. I love the sort of... Um, He's got the sort of chrome, uh, what do you call it, vac metal paint on the on the dome. So that's one I'd love to see. A uh, question from Film Fam Ninety: Is there a Grail figure or piece that you'd love to add to your collection someday? Absolutely. Um, now there is probably a good five or six three and three quarter inch figures that I just don't see myself ever getting, just because the prices have absolutely skyrocketed. Um, that is the XR Coon Ulek Quadroma uh, action figure pack, the comic pack. That is going for ridiculous money, like seven, eight hundred dollars plus nowadays in Australian dollars. Um, Jaina and Jason Solo, they're both really, really difficult to find now for for a reasonable price. They're they're in excess of two to three hundred dollars each. Um, there was Crook, K Crook. <laughs> I can't remember how to pronounce his name. He's another one. He's probably not as expensive as the other four, but um, yeah, definitely not a cheap one. And I'd love to get a hold of uh, Concept Anakin, which I know only one Kenobi. He's got three of them, um, and that is that is just such a great Anakin figure. Um, yeah, I would love to get a hold of that one one day. 
Uh, Riptic Tan, Riptic underscore Tan. I don't know if that's one or two underscores. Um, says, do you think Quinlan Voss will ever show up in live action? Maybe a partial antagonist in Kenobi. As my, I'd love to see Quinlan Voss show up at some point. I don't know if the Kenobi series is the way to go. I think Kenobi is going to be very contained um, as a story. It's going to be very Obi-Wan Anakin-centric. I think there's going to be flashbacks with Obi-Wan Anakin. Whether Quinlan can show up in those flashbacks, who knows? Um, we'll see. But I, yeah, I think Kenobi is going to be very contained. If anything, I'd love to see Dark Disciple, uh, the book by Christy Golden. Christy Golden, yeah. I'd love to see her book adapted into other animation as it was originally intended to be part of the Clone Wars. It was going to be an eight-episode arc. Um, two separate four episode, four episode arcs. Um, I'd love to see that one adapted or, you know, even into live action. I could get around that. It's a great story. Uh, Chief Chirper says, if you were to be in one Star Wars movie or show, which one would it be and which character? That is a really good question. Um, I think I would love to be in the Cassian Andor series, just where it takes place. I feel like it's going to be sort of a almost dark and gritty, like you think of that first scene where we introduced the Cassian in Rogue One, and he's on the uh, the Ring of Khafrein. I hope there's a lot of stuff like that in, in the Cassian Andor series. Um, and yeah, I'd, I'd love to sort of be part of like a rebel spy network, like, like that guy that, you know, he couldn't climb because he broke his arm or whatever. Um, I'd love to see something like that and be involved with something like that. That would be really, really cool. Um, I don't know that I could really pull off a main character. I don't think I'd be able to do it justice. I'm, I'm not an actor. <laughs> um, but sort of something simple, like a background character or, you know, like a second tier, third tier character in a scene like that would be cool. All right, I think we've got a couple left here. Uh... Drury underscore Erin, Erin Drury, she asks, what is your favourite toy version of Ray?" And this is a hard one, because I have three of her Hot Toys, um, and they're all absolutely amazing. I have a couple of the SH Figure Arts figures of Ray, but I'm honestly, I'm going to have to go with Island Journey Black Series figure. I just, I, I absolutely love and adore that figure. I, get, I got the uh, SH Figure Arts Last Jedi Ray, and she comes with, like, the satchel which she doesn't actually wear in the film in that costume. So it was quite easy just to pop that off the SH figure arts and give that to the Island Journey Black Series Ray, and it works beautifully. Um, there's something about that outfit. I just I love that outfit from the end of Force Awakens. Uh, it's a great, great, great look for Ray. Um, the fact she wore it most of Last Jedi as well is fantastic. Um, so thanks for that, Erin. Last question... Two more questions. This one is from Jedi Master Jeff over in Melbourne. He asks, what is the weirdest item in your collection? That is a fantastic question. I never know how to answer it. Um, I have a box of cereal um, from like the Force Awakens era. So six-year-old cereal now. Um, I have a bottle of Kylo Ren shower gel, <laughs> which... Don't ask why. I have two packets of Band-Aids. But um, I wouldn't say they're really weird, though. Um, yeah, I'd probably have to go with those sort of weird consumables. <laughs> um, I know people tend to just eat food and wear Band-Aids, but um, not me. I hang them on my walls. <laughs> All right, so on to the last question. No, that was it. <laughs> I accidentally screenshotted the same question again, so... Thanks to everyone who answered questions. I really appreciate it. Managed to get this a little bit shorter. So thank you. I'm really, really excited. I hope you, I hope I get lots of questions for next time. Um, I will be probably putting up a questionnaire on Instagram again as well to hit me up with some Star Wars questions. So please do that as well. Um, but yeah, drop them down here in the comments. I want to answer some questions. It's uh, good fun to sort of think about things on the spot like that because I tend not to think about answers until I'm recording. So... Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And hit the notification bell so your devices notify, notify you when I drop a new video. So thanks very much for watching. Till my next video, may the force be with you always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.